Hello, and welcome to my angle on keeping things rotating. Ha, huh, a cute joke. Sorry if it was obtuse to a degree. I feel like I'm going on a tangent. I wanted to 3D print a turntable and forgot how to use a search engine, so I decided to make my own using borrowed designs that just appeared in my browser. Thanks, chat ADD. But seriously, check out the credits in the video description. First, I started by taking the base for the gears and making a pancake out of it with syrup holes to embolden my diabetes. Next, I put a shaft on the main gear for the plate to connect to. I didn't choose pink, it chose me. This one got shafted, too. It extends with a larger turny thing used for turning things. Here are the time lapses of the parts printing. I hope you're not overwhelmed while you bask in the glow of poorly lit mediocrity. Burr, 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 burr. That's the sound printers make. You can keep doing it yourself. I'm thirsty. Here are all the printed parts and assembly steps. Don't blink. More like Alan turning. Like an oiler circuit, this thing works it. Enjoy the time lapses. After about 30 failed prints, I'm going to down a bottle of forget me nows. Like Giddle's incompleteness, this is my weakness. This thing's held together with these mouse droppings and hope. I'm all out of hope. Time for some glue! You're back. Build it. Introducing 3D printing's real hero. gaze upon its glory. Here I'm failing at trying to make this piece of plastic become a ballerina. Failure and fast forward. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found this somewhat entertaining and who the heck knows, maybe even informative. If you enjoy this type of stuff, please don't hesitate subscribing or liking this video.